Yo. What is good, everyone? Hello. Let's let's get some drops in. Let's get a song. Uh, <laughs> All right, we're good. Okay. Um, if you watch on YouTube, the visual is a little bit dark. It's nine in the morning. The sun hasn't risen up yet. Uh, it just hasn't risen up yet. So the sun's on an off day. So I literally have my windows open. Like the blinds are up and it's still dark. So please don't watch me on YouTube. Listen to me on YouTube. Boom. Uh, Spotify. Shout out to Spotify. Shout out to Apple. Uh, yeah, it's a Shy Five podcast. Shy Five podcast episode 52. We're in it. Day um one two day one two three four five six seven it's i think day eight of quarantine for me right now <laughs> i think so yeah i like i like it so far i like how it's low-key resetting everyone's like mental health in a weird way no one's like brought that up yet no one I'm, i haven't seen any tweets about that i think this is going to make weirdly going to make everyone's mental health better because everyone is so caught up in missing out and like like FOMO is a big deal in my generation like people are always constantly like sad because they're missing out on this event so when there's no events there's nothing to miss out on so I think this is like low-key good for like people that struggle with mental health and overthinking and and I mean I do that every now and then so it's it's always good it's always good to have like a little reset the world's like resetting right now it, it's just, it's just how it is right now it's um um it, it's interesting it's interesting I saw a tweet that was like oh these kids are gonna be writing like how the coronavirus changed my life blah 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 eyes roll and stuff I mean I think some people are actually gonna like have life-changing things that happen to them i think they're gonna like get better at maybe self-esteem people that struggle with that uh, people that struggle with uh overthinking i think this is just going to reset everyone's just mind and like people are sleeping more now it's it's beautiful when you just step back and look back at it now it is sad with the whole jobs horrible horrible but you're not the only one. No one's alone in this situation. So it's it's definitely a unique situation that um I'm grateful to be living in. I don't know. Um uh, saving a lot of money right now. I am saving so much money. It it's it's amazing how much money I'm saving. I was looking at my budget <laughs> and I was like, man, I'm spending like a fifth. Like my norm, like my normal thing, I'm I've spent maybe a fifth of that this month, and we're all we're almost done with this month, <laughs> and that fifth was mainly those first like ten days, so like this is the lowest I've ever spent on alcohol. <laughs> I'm just gonna put that out there. Um, what is it? I'll just say it. I've just only spent 20 bucks on alcohol this month. <laughs> Where did I spend it on too? Yeah, 20 bucks on alcohol. That's it. This one, that, which is like <laughs> extremely low. It's extremely low. Hey, I'm 23. That's just how, that's how early 20s kids' budgets are. But there's nothing like, there's no nightlife. There is, but like, I don't want to go out there. Yeah. It's too, it's too much right now. It's too much. I'm interested to see the nightlife on this weekend. Because I think last weekend, people were like a little skittish. But like uh, people were like, all right, let's just get this one night. Let's just get this one weekend of nightlife and let's see what's up this week. But I think this week people are going to be like, okay, let's maybe just watch Netflix tonight. But you know, crazy, there's going to be people out. People that are very rebellious, fake rebellious, like 
like, oh, I'm, uh, I'm not gonna let the government shut me down. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have fun. Those, those people, those people I'm talking about. Um, those people are annoying too. Um, yeah, so I, my, my budget's looking good. <laughs> it's good. It's good. I like it. I like it. Hey, it's a one prize for it. Um, yeah, so yeah, shout out to the coronavirus. Still going on. It's gonna be a thing. Um, I, I, I'm, I've been mentioning this. I've been mentioning this to people, but I'm really scared that the NBA is gonna get canceled this season. I'm legit kind of scared for that. Again, no one's talking about it because of fear. They don't want to talk about it. They don't even. Want, they don't even want to bring it up. My thing is like it's March, and we're 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 only it's March, and we're talking about having the season start in June, like the season resume in June with no fans. That's the bare minimum right now. We're not even in May. We're not even close to May. And we're just talking about the games with no fans, like at a minimum. Give this two months, season's going to get canceled. This is just, ugh. I'm just ready. I'm just getting my heart ready to get broken. I'm just getting ready. I'm I'm going to assume we're not going to have a season. Because this is bigger than people think. This is bigger than people think. It's not like we get a vaccine and the world's fine. It's not an injury. It's not a it's not a two week ACL. It's not a ACL. It's not a three week hamstring injury where we're just gonna bounce back after three weeks. No, this is a um, this is an ACL injury, a year injury of Earth. Earth has an ACL injury. That's that's how I'm gonna put it. The Earth. We tore our Achilles last week. We're having surgery right now. It's gonna take. We're, we're, we're having surgery right now. This is the part we're having surgery. The recovery period is going to take a while. The recovery period is going to maybe begin in July and August. So, yeah, that's um, that's how this is happening. I'm, I'm bummed. I'm bummed. Um, um, my dad and some other sources were mentioning that um, some politicians, um, uh, uh, pull their money. Wait, let me let me search this. Uh, pulled out money before the virus. Yeah, I'm not gonna talk about this in depth because I'm not like this isn't fact checked. But I would not be surprised if there's some politicians that pulled out their all their stocks. Like there's some sources saying that. There's some politicians, there's a sort of reset. There's some sources that are saying that some politicians pulled out all their money, all their stocks, right before the virus started. Right before the virus killed the Dow. Dow Jones. Um I would not be surprised if if that happens. I think people are very they just run to conspiracies and they just like freak out. They're like, oh, there's bigger things happening in this world. Well, yeah. Is that's not a conspiracy. That's just like the world. Money, 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 money. Are you why are people surprised that the biggest the billionaires knows what's going on because they have a billion dollars. I don't like, I've just never gotten that thing. I think it's part jealousy in a way too, but like all these CEOs are like um, getting out of their companies. People are like, Oh, there's bigger things happening. There's bigger things going on. And um, like things we can't understand like, I see this on Twitter, too, kids, like, talking about conspiracies, even, like, 40-year-olds, like, saying, oh, this doesn't add up. Well, okay, it, it's, it's not going to add up. You don't have a billion dollars. None of us have a billion dollars to know what's going on in the world. Bill Gates knows what's happening. I would not be surprised if Bill Gates is weirdly behind this. 
it's not a big deal. That's just that's just how the world has always been. I don't I don't know. I'm just um, numb to it, maybe a little bit more than people. I'm not surprised. They have a billion dollars. They're top point zero 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 one percent. When you have a billion dollars, people are gonna tell you what's going on in politics. They're gonna tell you all the secrets. Jeff Bezos probably knows there's knows all the secrets behind the government. Why is that surprising? I don't. So yeah, I I just never got gotten too caught up in that because I don't. I understand that. Yes, that's what happens when you make a lot of money. It's just two plus two equals four. <laughs> so that's what happens. Um, let's, okay, one last thing about the coronavirus. I'm extremely interested to see how this is going to impact the music industry. Because, yes, it's affecting sports. We know it. We see that. The music industry, we don't see what the details in music. We don't see the details behind the record labels, the contracts. They keep all that hidden for good reason. They don't want their secrets going out because it's very bad what they're doing. Besides that, I'm not, I'm no music expert industry guy to be cool, but I've been around long enough to where I know that Big name artists make majority of their of their money off tours. Um, my hypothesis, maybe because their record contracts are very in stone, it's uh, it's very harsh. It's very like you get this cut and that is it. Tours, you can just tour the whole world. You can have fifty dates, fifty concerts. That's this much money it's i think they it's more entrepreneurial it's the more entrepreneurial side of the music making um or the music income um so this brings up the weekend we can drop this album today the week uh i feel bad for the weekend he's one of my favorite artists he had my number four album of the decade last decade he dropped an album today after hours. I listened to half of it. I'll give my opinion later. But he dropped an album today during the prime, like maybe even before the prime of the coronavirus. He's got a tour already set. People, have, it's already sold out. He's made millions off of that. He's going to make millions. He probably has invested millions so do you know what that means tour is gonna get canceled and all the money he invested is just gone i don't it's it's interesting it's sad i've just never seen this before so i'm just wondering what's going to happen are they going to postpone it um i know bieber even has a tour coming up um i mean we can't meet with 10 people we can barely meet we can barely have a gathering of 10 people these these tour these concerts are like a hundred thousand people <laughs> so oh man i feel bad for the weekend i wonder let's see when the weekend tour starts um tour dates maybe it starts later in the fall but i think he's coming to dallas in june yeah, man, this stinks. What a tour. He was going to have – the tour is going to start on June 11th and going to end November 13th. Five-month international tour? Wow. That is amazing. Um, yeah, he's coming to Dallas July 25th. And Fort Worth. Shout out Fort Worth. Dickies Arena is really going to put that city to another level. He's coming to Fort Worth August 20th. Um, man, this tour is insane. Ugh. And it's all, 
Yeah, starts in Vancouver, ends in Paris. Um, ugh. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know with this. <laughs> the NBA, NBA's plan is just now having it with no fans. The weekend. Ugh. So, yeah, this is why I'm kind of interested a little bit, you know, in a bad way, I understand, but just I'm just intrigued to see what they're going to do. So uh, when does Bieber's tour start? I'm glad I didn't purchase any of these tickets. I thought about the weekend, but okay. So we got Bieber. He starts May 14th. Ugh. When does he end? Probably never stopping. Um... May 14th until like, oh, wow, just keeps on going. September 26th, so from May to September. Yeah, all these, these are the big, probably some of the biggest names in the world right now. Bieber and The Weeknd, those are top 10 must-go-see concert type of things. Um, hmm. Yeah, so... I'm interested to see what happens there. Uh, I'm also interested to see if people going to drop albums or people going to postpone their albums or some people going to be like, oh, let's just drop so many songs right now. I don't, it's interesting. It's interesting. Um, I feel like this benefits the small name musicians and it, it stinks for the big name musicians because they can't make the maximum money off these songs. These small name musicians, they're not going on tour anyway. So it's like they're not losing anything. <laughs> so maybe this gives them more attention. People are inside more. They have more opportunity to listen to music. Um, so this is a, I don't know, if I was, like a small, I would encourage small name musicians to just maybe drop so much music. I don't know. Uh, everyone's got their own strategy, but like Drake, Drake, Kendrick Lamar, they were all like kind of rumored to come out spring, summer, especially Drake. Drake's a spring, summer album type of guy recently. Um, so Drake's not going to lose out on money. He's not going to drop his album anytime soon anymore. <clears throat> I would not be surprised if Drake postponed his album till next year, <laughs> which is, which is, you, which is, uh, oh man. Um, cause Drake's not going to go to, he was going to drop an album this year. He was not going to go two years without an album. Um, Wow, yeah, this is uh, crazy. So yeah, he's he's looking at the he's looking at the climate, as uh, industry people say. Uh, but I I would predict he's really looking right now. He's really looking. So um, what else? What else? Uh, I saw that college basketball is thinking about letting um, the spring sports seniors come back a year, which is interesting. I don't know if that's just, if NCAA is just trying to be nice or if they're just trying to help their PR or something. I don't know. But how is that going to work? <laughs> like, are Cause I, what if I was a junior? What if I've been like, hey, give me my junior year back? That, that'd just be a mess, I feel like, sometimes. If that's true, man. That Cassius Winston from Michigan State is going to be a veteran in, in that in college basketball. He's been around so long. Um, but maybe NCAA is just blowing smoke. I, I don't – I can't see them actually – going through with that i think they're just kind of trying to help their public image and maybe everybody will forget about forget about that um 
I had a friend come up with this interesting idea. They, they should have like, cause you know, the March Madness would be happening right now. Yesterday, yesterday would have been the start of March Madness. Day one, all that. Somebody brought the idea of like playing the best games ever, like the best first round games ever, the best second round games ever during those particular time slots. And I've been like, that that have been a very interesting situation because there's a lot of bored sport fans right now. A lot of them. They would gladly waste their time on 12 hours of classic basketball. Gladly. So, but maybe there's something with, you know, uh, you know, there, there's so much more advanced stuff going on. Like the, if they played some random colleges and they probably would want money and just for them playing their game, it would just be a mess. So I don't know how those particulars, but it's a great idea. It's a great idea. Maybe if they had like a month preparation, they uh, could have done something like that, like that, but I don't know. I don't, definitely hard to do. Um, Let's see, let's see. What else? What else did I have? Last night I had a very weird dream. Um, I had a dream that I bought a Tristan Thompson highlights DVD. Um Tristan Thompson's horrible. <laughs> so <laughs> I don't know what inspired that dream. So just felt like I needed to share that. That was a different, different topic. I woke up. I was like, did I? Yeah. You ever have those dreams where it's like, you think it's kind of real the first hour you wake up? I was like thinking about that when I was waking up. I was like, did I really buy a Tristan Thompson? Where's this Tristan, Tristan Thompson <laughs> highlights DVD? <coughs> <coughs> But move on. Um, yeah, so that, that was kind of funny. What else did I dream? You know how I'm, I write my dreams down. They're all random. Um, trying to, what did I dream yesterday? Uh, what? No, this is funny. Yesterday, I dreamed. So, like, every morning, I'll, like, type in my notes what I dreamed during the night. So last night, there were some 3D things going on. <laughs> last night, I dreamed that I woke up and was writing in my dreams notes. <laughs> like, I dreamed a dream. That, that's, a, that's, I don't even. <laughs> uh. It's funny when I look back at these dreams and I totally don't remember them at all. It's just, it just shows you, you have to write, you have to write down your dreams right when it, right when you wake up. Cause you'll forget like crazy. Um, what else? What else? What else? What else? Uh, blah, 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 blah. Oh, I know what I'm talking about. So, there's a show called Dave on FX right now. Um, the rapper Lil Dicky has uh, made this show. And over the past couple of years, I have been very passionate about hating on Lil Dicky. I don't, I, I'm a proud hater of him. I I <laughs> I don't like him because I hate him for deep reasons. This is why. 2015, he was on the uh, no tw he was on the 2016 Double XL freshman list, which is the the list. If you don't know, it's like the list of like the the. It's like the rookies of the rap game. It's the rookies. It's the new guys. It's the new faces in music in rap and hip hop, pop and all that. So 
I liked him. I liked his music. I and I loved that class. With it was Uzi, Yachty, um, everybody was in that. Everybody was in that class. Uzi, Yachty, designer, um, Anderson Pack, Twenty One Savage, so many people. And Lil Dicky was the probably probably like the some of the worst, which the worst in that group was still amazing. So I've I always thought Lil Dicky was the most skilled rapper in that group. And I loved his album during that year, 2015, 2016. So I was on I was on the train. I was like, okay, I like this artist. He just disappears for a year. Doesn't make music, which okay, cool. Then he comes out with this the stupidest album ever called I'm Brain. And so Brain is a character he made. He made this song in 2015, 2016, where he featured Brain. It was kind of funny because like Brain was literally him, but it was like literally his brain. Yeah, you have to really think about this. It was literally his brain. So he made the song featuring brain like legit so i thought that was kind of witty i thought it was like kind of cool like you could tell when brain was rapping because it was more of a uh hollow voice or like dreamy voice so I was like okay this is kind of witty it's kind of cool smart i like it funny but when you tell a joke too much it just becomes annoying and that's what he did with making a whole album with literally this character named I'm Brain. No Lil Dicky in sight. No artist. No. And so I was like, wait, you're going to make me wait 18 months for this? <laughs> and it was horrible. It was nothing was cool about it. So I was like, you really just are just trying to be some weird comedian now. Um, and then he also, uh, what was it? Okay, and then he made the song with Freaky Friday with Chris Brown. It was cool, cool idea, liked it, good. So it got me back to him a little bit, but this is where I just stopped. I just started being a hater. When he made that song called Earth last year, with like the characters um being other celebrities like Bieber was in it it's hard it's really hard to explain just watch the earth music video it was there was about 20 to 30 celebrities in it musicians and non-musicians having like three or four words here and there and And the, the theme of the song was like, love the earth, blah, 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 all that stuff. And I was like, this is the worst song of all time. And this is where I just became a straight up hater of him. He went on Ellen's show and was like, yeah, every stream, all the money is going to go to charity, to earth charity. And I was like, no, you're not going to guilt me into listening to the worst song of all time just because three cents a stream is going to a charity. Oh my, it. There was just so many levels in that song. That was just horrible. It is horrible. Uh, I hate that he did that. I really hate. So basically what I've been like saying is like he used hip hop, he used rap to try to be this weird comedian. Like I don't like that. I don't like when people use things to go to another thing. Now if he was making music here and there, like decent music, I'd be like, okay, do your thing, but at least go back to your roots. Go back to what put you to what got you famous in the first place. So you know, big on that. I'm big on that. 
he just left it. He still hasn't made an, an album since 2015. So, all that to be said, there's this new TV show he has called Dave on FX. Twitter told me, I, I really wish this would have flopped. I really, <laughs> I hope it, I was hoping it would get canceled after season one. <laughs> um, like I said, I'm a proud hater. Um, so, so uh, the first couple episodes aired, and I was just going to see the reaction. I want to see the reaction. So people on Twitter were saying, like, oh, this is kind of, like, decent. I was like, oh, no, 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 no. That is not what I want to hear. And then people started comparing it to Donald Glover's TV show called Atlanta. And I love Atlanta. I love that show. So when I started hearing those comparisons, I was like, oh, no, 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 please, please don't make me watch this. And then, and then this was the final straw that got me to watch the show. Three, two to three of my friends were like, not forcing me, but just like telling me that I need to watch the show. Because they knew I would like kind of like it, I guess. And to my surprise, I decently like it. I don't love it yet. I, I'm okay with it right now. That, that exceeds all expectations. Okay is like, should be, having that is surprising. Having that show be okay to me is, I hate that. I hate that I am okay with the show. <sighs> I hate that. I don't, <sighs> makes me, it makes me sad that I'm okay with the show. Like, I don't, I enjoy it, but I don't like that I enjoy it. <laughs> so, <sighs> I don't know, man. It, I don't like it. I hate that I don't like, I hate that I like it a little bit. So, it, they got four episodes out. If season one ends and I'm like, wow, I like it, I will be disappointed in myself. <laughs> I will be disappointed. Um, so, <clears throat> so yeah, that, that, that's my rant on Lil Dicky. I, there's some things in the show where it like catches me off guard and it just like makes me like that choke laugh, like like just it's your unexpected laughter in the show. I don't know. There's, there's some like kind of goofy things on the show. I I kind of liked it a little bit. Ugh. I throw up every time I say that. By the way, I don't enjoy saying that. That I kind of like the show. So, but it is what it is. I I hope the show gets worse, so that I don't have to watch it. I'm telling you, I don't like Little Diggy. I don't like him. Don't like him. So. So, um, yeah, but, um, so yeah, mainly the gist of why I don't like him is because he used rap and hip hop to get into comedy and never returned to what got him famous in the first place, which was rap and hip hop. That's all. That's all. I'm not huge on loyalty, but you gotta have some loyalty. Like some, like a minimum amount of loyalty. He doesn't even reach the minimum amount. So, <laughs> so that's that. Um, yeah, that's about it. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's good. So yeah, I, did I go on for a little to keep for 10 minutes? <sighs> passionate, I'm passionate about all this, man. I'm passionate. Um, let's see. I think that's about it. That's about it. Let's wrap up the show. Went longer than usual. Uh, the song of the week shout outs. Uh, song of the week. I don't, I don't know. Um, don't want to give my opinion on the weekend yet. <laughs> Let's see. I got to have a little baby song. I got to have a little baby. The best rapper right now. Did I, did I sh put this? This needs to be on this list. Uh, Something to prove by Lil Baby. 
it's actually spelled like some to prove, like some to prove. But <laughs> it's called something to prove. I really love where Lil Baby's going, the direction <clears throat> for him. So, yeah, I, I've i been, should have had that song on my song of the week. That's been my song of the week for like all of February. So, or yeah, it came out, it only came out three weeks ago. Sheesh. I murdered those streams on that album. So, <clears throat> um, let's see. Yeah, song of the week. That's that. Uh, shout out, shout out to Texas Tech for moving all classes this spring online. So I'm gonna be here for a while. I'm gonna be in good old Grand Prairie, Dallas, Texas, for more than I thought. Um, you know, I've been saying to people like, I left Texas Tech for Christmas break, thinking I would be back in four weeks. It might be eight months. <laughs> so, um, yeah, very interesting. Very interesting. Um. My apartment keeps calling me, and I'm probably going to like reply to one of their tweets saying, "Hey, I'll I'll sign at least today, if you give me a three month refund." I think I think that's fair. There, yeah, I think that's fair. I might do that. <laughs> Can I shoot your shots and signs? Um, yeah. So that's about it. Thank you for watching. Peace. See you next time. See you next time on the Shark Fight Podcast. Coming soon. Peace. Peace, love, prosperity. Bye. Chi-Fi Podcast.